Okay. So thank you all for being here. And as I said, some of you are starting on this journey with me and some of you have been in this. So both the recordings will go into both of your portals. And we, uh, we entered into the eclipse really happened yesterday. Uh, it was visible in Antarctica. But it's like, it doesn't matter where that totality is visible at. It affects, you know, the energy. So the energy of this one, because it's the, it was the last one of this year, and it's also the last one that was in the nodes, like the eclipses are in the south and north nodes of the moon for usually 18 months to two years. So this is the last one. So we're we're starting, next year's eclipse is all will be in Scorpio and Taurus. So we're, so we're ending a cycle and this energy with this, not only it was that happening, Neptune has been in retrograde since like, I think June and that switched to, okay. So, so we were, so we were supported by that energy. So Neptune is all about our dream time, what we're getting from our God self. It's like we've been in this, this time period for the last six months that we've been being downloaded, whether we knew it or not. It was happening in our subconscious, okay? So now it went out of that. So that energy that, we, that we've been in the underworld with feeding itself to present itself out into the world so that's where we've been at and so there there was um the sex is when they make a triangle together so there was that between neptune venus and saturn the last three days so that venus is their values and then uh, relationships and then saturn is it can be karma of structures and it's also like what are we earthing in so that triangle came together that point came together at this time too so so i don't you know i don't see astrology as that we are ruled by it but that it's opportunities to use this cosmic energy for yourself and that so you can utilize the energy of that so that's that's what we've been in and that's what is being was being represented so, so some of that, as we were talking about, uh, you may have felt it physically in your body, you know, because it also is going to affect your, you know, your emotional, mental, and your physical body of what no longer serves you. you know, it will come up into your awareness and you may have got, you know, just some big, oh, I'm changing this and I'm going to do this and, you know, that I know I need to be doing whatever, okay? So you may have those kinds of awareness. And um, like this morning, when I set into the energies, like I got that, um, and I'll put these in the platforms too, like during this time period, when we're moving into um, between Sag and moving into the Capricorn energy, that the essential oils that would be good for your system and to support everything were orange, clove, and vanilla like a blend of those. And I heard it, I could smell them. And I got it really clear when I was in the meditation. And, and it was more like I just kind of had a random thought for a second. And as soon as I did, I felt the energies of those come in and stand there. And sure enough, I looked them up. <laughs> I looked them up and they were exactly in alignment with what the planets were doing. And so it's that kind of thing. You get just this like, oh, I just had this feeling that I was supposed to do those together. And then it was like, it came from my subconscious and it's like, yeah, take that in, out into the world. These will support you right now during this time period. And so they'll help with all of those, the bodies that I just talked about with the emotional, the mental and, and the um, physical. So they'll help support the meridians and the you know energy centers during this time to stabilize them in your central nervous system so that kind of aha that you just suddenly get 
it's like it may not it may be real subtle but it's like if you follow those steps in the path then you're seeding in what your next steps are and for me what i'm seeding in is um i'm looking at doing a to do like physical um like subscription boxes that are sent out that have like you know those things in it or maybe just the um recipes and stuff so i just haven't thought about it and as soon as i did i could be connected to somebody that um that can, can, can collaborate with me on this because that's the energy that's coming in for me for next year. And I'm seeing this, like I think it, and as soon as I think it, the person's brought straight to me and then the information is given and it's like, oh, there's the instructions, there's the map, here's the path. Now you can choose whether this is the path that you go on, on or not. And so when I was, um, journaling myself and I was um looking at um like programs like for next year and where I wanted to funnel in and what else I wanted to bring in um and spirit said when I sat with it to meditate to see if this would be the path that would support me and also what it you know the tools that I hand you all and, and Spirit said, ask this question, and then you will always know. And the question was, is this a distraction? And it was so simple. It's like, it's just the yes or no. You know, it's like, is this a distraction? So that is like so easy, so simple. And when you're, you know, in that energy of wondering, it's, if you go into your inner inquiry, and just ask if this is a distraction. And so then they gave me like two symbols, you know, of what, uh, if it's a distraction, it doesn't mean it won't be fun, you know, and I might have information and I go off on another thing, but is it a distraction to my mission and where I'm at and to say, you know, will it help? Will it help the mission, you know, in the path and what I'm here to bring in? And so that was like, oh, Okay, and so then I, I got some kind of symbol with it and I'd have to look back in my journal to see, but, but if it wasn't a distraction, it was like it lit up. And I think the distraction energy felt a little um, kind of discordant, you know, and then, the, and then they told me, you're not here to be following somebody else's path. And this is a certification program and something. And it was like, you're not here to be certified. You're not here to follow somebody else's path. And I heard that really clear after they gave me the questions asked. So when, when I'm doing my own work and when I get quiet, they'll give me the question to ask because it's like my mind might be, you know, trying to make something up, ask. And if I go quiet, I'll know the question to ask to my inner guidance. So um, we'll, we're going to disconnect from that chaotic mind of humanity. And every time you do that, when you're trying to ask stuff, like all of that other energy you recorded into, it brings you into your center. And so I suggest always doing that. And after you do it a few times, it's just easy. You just ask for it to be done because your system knows how. And then from that still point, ask your inner inquiry, you know, ask questions. And when I go into my own sacred um, chamber, when I'm working with something like that, like, okay, say it was business decision for me. So when I go in to that chamber of to my, to my own inner awakened mastery, to my sacred chamber, then a question like that, there's like a team that I see that shows up for me. It looks like I go into, you know, like a CEO room and there's a table. And there's the, the, my inner archetypal energy, like the one that looks over the contract, the one that, that manages the energy and will this like, you know, give me life force energy or will it take life force energy from me? And then, um, I, then my gatekeeper stands there at the door now. So they can't come in unless like he checks them out and they can't just like come into my, to my energy. Okay. And um, 
So anyway, that I'm sharing that with you all because that's how I, how I, how I utilize the energy for myself. And I, you know, it's a, it's a work in progress. It's like I use these tools that I hand you all, you know, myself. And it's like in that um, spirit gives them to me. And then it's like, okay, then I hand them out, out to you all. Okay. So has anybody got any questions with that before? So we're going to go into the transmission and we're going to go in into those committee rooms and then all, and see what's ready to release that maybe you haven't released and to unplug from that, you know, what energies are there and then what wants to come in, you know, to unplug from the distractions and then what, what wants to come out in. And sometimes those contract uh, distractions you know, they could be something that it's not right, wrong, good, or bad. It's just a distracting energy. And when you unplug from that container that you've created with that, then it can um, equalize and come into something that's more harmonious for you. Like if it's a relationship or something like that, like the, if it's taking your energy, then it can reestablish itself in something that's more balanced for you, more, you know, balanced and, and harmony for you, okay? Um, I'm gonna let the distraction out right now. My cat is, is being very distractive. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her out. So you all sit with that. And if you've got any questions, let me go let the distraction out. I haven't been home in two days, so she's, she's very uh, needy today. <laughs> okay, if anybody's got a question, you can either raise your hand or unmute yourself. And if not, we're going to go on into this. Is Zoom is doing weird stuff with me, or maybe it's this old computer. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna drop into this energy. So breathe, use your breath. So just do some cleansing breaths, big breath in. And then as we breathe in, I'm here and we're gonna breathe in harmony. So it's the frequency of harmony. And when we exhale that, when the energy goes out, it's the energy of value. And then when you, the next breath in, you're gonna bring the value back to you. So it's like an infinity symbol. It comes back into your heart and then back out into the world. It's like what you're seeding and handing back out. And now I'm here in flow into the heart and then back out the currency of that. So breathe that in. So we're going to disconnect from that chaotic mind of humanity. So when we do that from our third eye, the cord that we plugged in ourself into all of that chaos, we're gonna unplug that where we plugged in because we believe something outside of us had the answer. So we'll unplug from that. And when you unplug from that, you can feel the energy coming back into your own third eye, back into your your little discernment um, chamber here. And then there's more energy for you to connect to your own inner knowing, your own inner essence.
So breathe that in. And feel that energy that was connected into everything else as it comes back into, into this sacred chamber, into you. And that that energy of discernment connects into your system and lighting up the path. And the discernment and the discernment of the path in the mission. So now we're going to disconnect from any of the mind matrix that we created ourselves in this lifehood, from any of the dramas, traumas, the energy that we incorporated you know, to be what everybody else needed us to be. Any of that mind that we run, any of our thoughts or any of our own, um, our own identity is the word I'm hearing. We're gonna disconnect from that. To let go of anything within that that distracts us from being the truth of our divine essence and the being that we really are. I just heard the people pleaser gets another job. <laughs> it's like we use that energy. We'll use the energy in a way that benefits the all. So breathe that in. And so that energies and those flows and the connection and the energy of the breath that we breathe in, all of that is being utilized within our system to connect to these, I'm hearing, I heard the word star plate. So it's like air, it's like a template, but it's like the star plate of our essence. So these frequencies, you may feel them moving through your body, down your legs, all the way into the core of earth herself, the heart of earth, the truth, the beauty of who she is and the love and support that she has for you. So feel that connection to that, to that heart of the divine mother herself. The love and support. Earth herself holds those records for you. Your records of this journey, your path here on earth, your mission. And when she called out the connection you have to her, she stores those records for you to help you stabilize this. And so that energy is always there for you to connect to it. If anything starts feeling a little unstable, you can always go into the heart of, of Gaia herself and ask to connect to your, your path, your mission and what that is. And then the steps to move forth with that. What's most high, the highest beneficial step for you in the, in the time and how that energy will support you on your journey to remembering is what she said. So feel that love in every cell of your body, the love that, the unconditional love that Gaia has for you. So we're gonna activate that. And you make it a symbol of what that is, what that feels like. And it's okay if you don't. They're telling me the symbol represents when you connect it to your earth path, and then you can use, utilize that and know like that you're in the right um, 
not book, that you're not in somebody else's 